yes, I'm an artist, and I'm actually here just for a very sh short time to uh, talk quickly about a little project that you can visit at their Copper House, which is called the Uncanny Photo Booth. And as you heard, yes, I am pretty much since three years working exclusively with deep learning, or as we call it like now, AI, to make art or make interesting images. And uh, one of the topics that I particularly work a lot with is the human face. And um, there is a flag. And uh, because, yeah, the human face is, of course, super interesting to all of us. We are all experts in human faces. There is so many things we can read in them. And fortunately, neural networks also give us a lot of data about them. And we have heard in the talk before, Biometric face data is used in surveillance, but you can also use uh, this for, for making other things. And, uh, well, once you have these, you can also kind of like make your own sock puppet and uh, train a neural network to, well, take whatever data you feed in, like the, the face markers, and make something new. This is a particularly bad example on all, all accounts. Um, it's, it's kind of low quality and like it's the garbage in, garbage out uh, rule that still applies. And so it was also very early and like over the past years I kind of improved my methods and tried to do different things. So what I'm particularly interested in is having the models to almost generate interesting stuff by themselves. So what you see here, and usually there's some sound playing, but since I'm an artist, I'm difficult. I brought my own machine, and now it doesn't play the sound, so you must imagine some kind of piano stuff playing in the background. Well, these are two neural networks that are kind of playing against each other. One has learned to recognize faces, and the other one then generates faces from that. And in the end, whatever the second model has detected, it sends back to the first. So because both models pretty much do not anything else but faces. You can point them at random noise, and very quickly in this loop, they will start generating, well, what you see. So it's definitely uncanny and weird, but uh, I find it quite interesting, well, to see where this is going. Um, well, as I said, these models, whatever you train them on, they will generate. So if I train them on uh, old masters painting Western European art, what you get out is in the end things that look like Western European art with all its uh, kind of pitfalls, like you will mostly get middle-aged old men and some little, little bit younger women, and they are all white. So this is kind of the data set I have right now. But also the question is, of course, do we need more portraits? But it's still interesting to see because, yes, we like the color schemes and it's kind of like, yeah, looks like art. Um, but yeah, again, if I f put this into a feedback loop, uh, I, I get more the kind of uh, Francis Bacon weird kind of space. And uh, this is kind of where I'm more interested in how can I create something that is different to what I already know. So again, all I did here is to train these models, and in the end, I sit back and uh, pipe them together and, uh, and let them run and let them surprise me. Uh, well, the interesting part is, of course, when, when I take it to real time. So in this case, I can feed my camera into it and, again, have the model produce something out, out of the, the inputs. And Again, we get the Francis Bacon effect, but yeah, there is where you can get playful. So I built myself these tools, and then I can see, well, it's almost like I, I built a musical instrument, and then I have to figure out how to, can I play with it, and what actually can I produce with it, and hopefully at some point I will get something like a, a beautiful song or an interesting image. So the, the piece that you can try out yourself at the Copper House is the Uncanny Photo Booth, and it's pretty simple. You just sit in front of the camera, and then you have a choice between these various models, and, uh, well, you can take it from, like, the female um, old masters, uh, more like dirty old man old masters model, uh, kind of female photo model, and yes, there's total bias in these models, uh, but fortunately I'm an artist. I actually, art is almost about biases, but yes, I, I could train it on other data sets if I find them, but so for now you will probably most get very biased data. 
And yes, it gets, can get very uncanny, and so if you are daring enough to, to have your face shown like this, you are welcome to join me later on over there. And uh, a few more. And uh, yeah, there's the silent movie also. So this was just trained on a, a few minutes of silent. I think it's Zara Leander or the other one. I don't know. But uh, so yeah, there are the different choices you have you can make. And I hope to see you uh, then later on at, oh yeah, at the Copper House. Thank you very much.